Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from MizraAutomation.com and welcome to another video of Test Trigger. And in this video, I'll be talking about Shared Suite. This is one of the most important concept of Test Trigger because this is going to help you leverage the power of reusability across the suite in Test Trigger. All right, so let's get started. So if you remember in our earlier videos, we actually created a test suite like PB Tech where we actually performed the purchasing of the Android phone. And we also used the reusable rules like buy Android phone and the checkout as well as the verification of cart, something like this. So all these things are actually a reusable rules as you can see over here. The verification of cart, checkout and buy Android. And all these reusable rules contains different steps for us over here as you can see over here. And not only just the rules, but also there are some test data that we have mentioned like phone brand and actual phone or something like that. But there are some cases that we might be requiring the exact same set of test data as well as the reusable rules in a different test suite, but we might be performing a different operation over there. For example, instead of the uh, phone brand, a Samsung phone, we might be using some other phone probably. Uh, something like a Huawei phone or iPhone probably, something like that. So we might be using different values, but the steps that we might be performing is going to be pretty much exactly the same as you can see over here in the reusable rules. If we wanted to really use this kind of reusable rules to be used in different test suite, we have something called as a shared suite concept over here. So this shared suite concept helps us to share the rules as well as the test data to different test suite. This is pretty interesting because you reduce the number of keystroke as well as the business logic across the test suite. I'm gonna show you how it actually works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a new test suite this time. Uh, let's call this as PB Tech Child or something like that. I'm just gonna name it just for the differentiation purpose over here. And for the PB Tech, I think the site name is pbtech.co.nz so I'm just gonna use the same thing over here and I don't want to specify any username probably gonna do the testing on the OS X this time probably and the browser is going to be Safari and don't auto generate anything for me which we will probably talk about that later in this series and I'm gonna create a test suite over here so what I'm gonna do this time is instead of actually writing everything from the scratch I'm just gonna create a new test case over here, but I'm actually going to be inheriting some of the rules that we have defined over here in this particular scenario, like buy and write and store on the phone brand below as this one and apply the filter. So I'm just gonna use these three steps probably, and I'm gonna paste it over here. This is gonna be like a inherited test, something like that. Now, if I try to do add and run, this test is probably going to fail because it says that the unrecognizable instruction can't detect this by Android, something like that. The reason being, we have not really inherited anything using the shared suite so far. So what I'm going to do is let me just close this guy altogether and I'm going to go to this shared suite over here. And this allows us to choose the parent suite, which has the rules and the data that we're looking for which is nothing but the PB Tech Test Suite. And I'm just gonna hit save. And once I do that, you will see that it is gonna tell me this information saying, in the test data and rules, reusable rules section, you will find tabs for distinguishing the suite data and the parent data. Here, you can also override the parent rules by the name and test data by keys. And now if I try adding the inherited uh, scenarios, something like that, and I'm just gonna paste it, inherited. And once I add and run, do you see that I'm not really getting any error this time, rather it is just happily accepting the scenarios for me, which means it is now starting to run the test based on the rules, which is shared for me within this particular child test suite, which is cool. So this is another great way to reduce the number of keystrokes by using the reusable rules and data from different test suite. And you can see that the test is actually running fine without any problem for us, which is great. So this is how we can make use of the shared suite in test rigor 
and reuse the business logic across the suite.